Hi guys, it's me. It's Talia. Today is Sunday, September 4th. No, you're not imagining things. No, you're not confused about days. Um, I am recording this video on a Sunday. Um, without having to go into every single little detail about what's going on at work. Um, one employee is having to go out of town for training for her career school type job stuff and so she is not going to be available um at all uh, any day of the week so um i'm having to get someone else to kind of fill in for me and to do that i have to schedule them on sundays so um so for a while at least september um my videos will be on sunday i don't know if it's going to continue after that on sundays or if i'm going to move back to another day or what's going to happen after that. I don't know. We'll see when it gets here. Um, so yeah, um, at least for the next few weeks my videos will be on Sundays. I didn't get a lot done this week, so um, it's probably going to be kind of a short video. I only have like three, three whips to talk about. And I have a couple of shout outs. I'm not going to call them shout outs anymore because I'm just going to call them new watches because just new people that I subscribe to sometimes they may not be new to Floss 2 but they're new to me um I only have two of those this week so um a couple of whips a couple of new people to mention so yeah on the bright side, I did pull out something this week that I haven't worked on in a while, and I know you guys have been dying to see, but I'll get to that. Um, Monday, I worked on, I can find it, what is that? I can't even think, oh yeah. Sorry guys. Monday, I worked on stained glass Ariel again because you know I've been in love with her since I started her. This is what the finished pattern looks like. And in case you're wondering, it's from a shop called Magic Stitching on Etsy. I will link it down below. I don't link my pattern places very often. I do occasionally. So, move my needle winder out of the way so you can see better. This is where she's at now. A lot more lines done uh, from the last time you saw her. Yes, I filled in the, the face and the neck and finished this over here. I did the, the lighter stitching, this part down here, and then I went back in and filled in the, the darker blue. And then just came out and did more of the lines for the stained glass. This is gonna be, obviously this is her chest up here, but then here where you see this little V, where'd it go? I had it and I lost it. This little V right here. Yeah, I keep having to look back on it. This little V right here is actually the V in her um her little seashell bra thing. Get back to it here. This is where this is at right here. And then I did more of the lines here that coming down from her arm. Until I fill those in, like this is her arm. This is the start of her arm right here. Until I put those in, it's really it, it might be a little bit difficult to make out what's what in some places. But yeah, that's, that's what all I did this weekend. I mean, sorry, that's all I did Monday. So that's her. And she she actually stitches up pretty fast. Um, Monday in particular, it was a little on the busy side. 
So, mm, I didn't get as much stitching as I would have on a slower day, but I love this. Every time I look at it, I just can't get over how much I love this thing. And it's, for some reason, it's just, it looks better when, when you look at it close up. Does that, is that not look good? Yes, I love my stitches. My stitches look good most of the time. This is why I love my pieces so much sometimes. Look at that. And it's just like, it's just big blocks of color and I like that. But they're not so big that they're going to drive you insane. And this right here, this is what I was talking about with the, um, there are the big blocks of color like these, but then a, a lot of the pattern is also has times like this too, where you kind of intermingle um, a couple of colors in together. So, not too shabby. Um, I'm thinking about actually uh, working on this for the rest of the night tonight. I haven't gotten many stitching done today. I woke up feeling pretty like crap. <sighs> genetics, people. Female genetics, right? And I'm not one to normally take, I don't like taking medications for anything, especially like headaches and cramps and stuff like that. Unless it gets bad enough, then I will try to take something. And I was fine when I first woke up, but then, as is usually the case, the longer I'm up, the worse it gets. And so by 10, 30, 11-ish, I had to take something. Because I was just hurting that bad. And then my boyfriend came over and it was like, hey, me and my friend Eric and his mom and my mom where I want to go to the Tanger Outlet, which is um, an outlet mall about maybe 30 minutes away, um, up, uh, up toward Atlanta, um, about three-fourths of the way to Atlanta. And we're going to go up there because he's got to get a couple of things for some people to, to send over to some people in India and um, ask me if I wanted to go. So at first I was like, mm, I really don't feel like it. Because the... The drugs had started to kick in, but um, they weren't completely taken over yet. So it was still kind of a little bit sore-ish, um, and I didn't really didn't feel like it, but then he left, and I was like, just some things I was dealing with this morning, I was like, you know what, I don't, have to I don't feel like pulling up with the BS today, I need to get out of the house, so and I just need to go and get out somewhere, so I called him not even a couple minutes after you left. Come back. I'm going with you. So I was gone for the afternoon. Went up to the outlet mall and got a couple things. Got a new purse. He bought he bought me a purse. He is really nice. Bought me a purse and then I bought my grandson an outfit at um whatever that baby shop is. Um I don't even remember the name of it. Um, bought him an outfit because they were having a Labor Day special thing of everything in the store. Twelve ninety nine or less. So I paid nine bucks for a pair of jeans and twelve ninety nine for a long sleeve onesie. Um, kind of a dark red onesie it was a little I couldn't tell if it was a police tow truck thing. Something like that. It had a little design on it. Um, but continuing on with the whips, Tuesday, Tuesday, I actually worked on, anybody remember what's on this? I pulled out Save the Stitches. Because I had really been, I had really been wanting to work on these last couple of weeks, but I just hadn't felt like it, like at home at night. And working on it during the day at work is a little bit more difficult because it requires more concentration. And Tuesday, I saw that it was a little bit slow at work. It was pretty dead, um, except for the occasional person. 
So I'm like, it's a good chance to work on it at work when it's not busy. I have somewhat span of time between customers, so it's a good day to pull out save the stitches. So it's getting wider. This is where I'm at on save the stitches. I did this whole block right here, the stitches in this whole block right here. And then this little motif right here. They're supposed to be, and I actually also started on the um, things, on the diamonds for the next set of blocks. Say the stitches, each set of, for those who have never done the pattern, each set of diamonds, these four diamonds right here, and these two is a block. Or technically these five. This is a block. And then you have patterns one, two, three, four, and five. And then once you move on to block two, you have patterns six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Something like that. I'm not sure if that's exactly right, but it's something like that. And so what I did was I finished, I did the, the pattern here in um, pattern number two, number five, and then I did start it on the, um, the diamond for the, the next set of blocks, for the next block, for the next set of patterns. So that's that. And then this has the, the lighter purple in it. You can see that. I really do love this. If you see this stuff, this stuff in pictures, it has, it's no comparison whatsoever. This, these things are gorgeous. Look at that. Let's look at that. I don't know if you can be able to tell if it's sparkling or not. Yeah, and then this, this diamond right here, there's a bead. I need to actually, I'm, I'm going to wait until I can actually go to an LNS or something. And I can get, I can look at the beads and match them up to the colors of the metallic that I have. Because um, seeing them on screen, it's 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 going to be hard to match them up uh, as good as I, as well as I want to. So I'm just going to wait. But there's supposed to be a bead here, 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 and here, and then one in the center actually. So I'm going to wait. And the funny thing is, the pattern, the PDF. You have a picture. Um, let me get let me get the pattern and I'll show you. And something I didn't notice until until the other day when I was went to work on it. You see how I I kind of bound my set of pages, my PDFs together. Okay. this in the picture right there in that picture right there that's not beads they've just done stitches somebody didn't use beads in this at least I don't think those are just X's those aren't those aren't beads those are just X's so I guess if you wanted to just do it I guess if you just wanted to stitch stitch it instead of use beads, you could. But I'm going to wait and use beads. So yeah. Best decision I've ever made in my life. story short, this is Save the Stitches. And yes, I will be doing a border around it. I'm not sure, maybe someone can tell me if it's better to go ahead and start doing the border now, 
or to just wait until it's completely done to go back and do the border. Because I'm just afraid that if I start the border, I'm going to lose my count. And like as I come back to it, it's going to take longer for me to figure out where I stopped at. Um, so, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I haven't completely settled on a border yet. I know I, I want to definitely do one of the mid thickness borders. Not the real thin ones, but not one the one not one of the ones that's like the most ornate, but kind of something in the middle. So yeah, that's that one. Just love that though. I really do love this piece, and they actually go pretty fast, believe it or not. Because once you get into um, the pattern, I mean, once you get into the rhythm of the pattern, it goes like that. I mean, it's, it takes no, it takes no time. I started, I finished this by like about six in the evening, and so then I had time to go go around and do these. That's why, and I started this. I had nothing in this block done. And I started at about 10.30, uh, 10.30 in the morning, not long after I got to work. Um, and with a couple of interruptions, not many, stopped and ate lunch, about 30 minutes for lunch, and give and take, you know, give or take. So yeah, finished that, and then that did that, and then I started going and doing the rest of the border. So, so that's that one. Save the stitches. Um, notice how when I say it's going to be a quick update, it's never really that quick. Don't worry, I only have one more whip. And lastly, I worked on, I don't know if you guys remember the Phoenix. I have really been trying to work more on my smaller things that I just recently started. I worked on this, the freebie from um, a user on a site called DeviantArt. DeviantArt's a great place to find um, artistic stuff, whether you're looking for just like um, prints or patterns for cross stitch or crochet or whatever, or photography, anything like that. Um, it's a good place. You should go check them out. And it's a girl named Mackie Bird. So, it's dark outside. I'm going to try and hopefully show this to you. I have to make sure. Did all that. I don't know if you remember, but hold on. I have an idea. Hold on. Here we go. It's a little bit better. Um, the last time you saw this, I had just done, like, the little bit on this side over here. Yeah. I just did, like, this side over here. And so, I was able to do all this here. And you can kind of start seeing a shape now, as far as the shape that I just showed you, the picture. The funny thing is, this is 
the day that I went worked on this on Thursday. I wasn't sure before I left uh, for work if it was going to be busy or not. So all I did, I didn't take my full stitching bag with me. I took, um, I put this, the Q snap, the eight, the eight inch Q snap, and my my little sewing my little sewing bag that keeps my scissors and my highlighters and stuff in that. Um, just put that in a plastic in a plastic Walmart bag and to just that to work. And what's the one thing I forgot to take? The pattern. Luckily, it is a freebie pattern, so I was able to go to um, the DeviantArt website and re-download it onto my phone. And I just used the digital pattern from there on. So that's that one. That's all I got done on him. You can think up against it. While I'm thinking about it, I'm going to put this pattern in the old folder. And in case you're wondering, Save the Stitches is on a 25, 25 count Lugana in Stormy Skies. I don't remember who the individual company is, but I got it off of 123 Stitch. And this is a 28 count, yeah, 28 count Cashel uh, in Brash from Picture This Plus, which I think you can purchase this off of 123 Stitch as well. I just got it at an LNS in South Carolina when I was visiting down there several months ago. I'll be glad when I can go back home to visit again. This is this right here, and this is a good example. These little envelopes are great. They really are. But sometimes you gotta watch them. Because these little end, the silver piece, metal pieces will come off. This one came off, and so I have to make sure it stops, like you can see where it kind of wants to stop on its own. So I have to kind of make sure it stops right there. And then I have another one where the thread came out from inside and so it won't actually close up. So you gotta watch them, but they're, they are good. But out of, how many of these do I have? Like. 18 of them all together. It's only that's the only two that's that messed up. So that's all my whips I have for this week. Yes, I know, short week. Um, I go back to work tomorrow. I'm gonna work on today. Initially, this morning when I got up, I did want to work on Lost Boys. One of these days, I'm gonna get some work on. Don't know if it's gonna be today. Lost Boys is a very large piece. Large piece. And sometimes I just don't feel like dealing with it. I need to probably try to get some more done on TARDIS too. The TARDIS, I have to have daylight. I have to have some type of natural light because it's on a very dark gray Ada. Yes, it's on Ada, but it's a very dark gray Ada that requires light. Um. I don't know. If I don't work on Lost Boys today, I'll definitely be working on Ariel. Because I love working on Ariel. I just love working on Ariel. Um, you know me. If I say I'm going to work on something, it usually ends up being something else. I guess you'll find out next week, huh? So, the only two new watches that I have, they are both new floss tubers so it does count this week they are uh, they are official shout outs for new people they both each um, so far only have the one video each so the first one is going to be Finn Stitcher Karina Antilla 
and I'll link I'll link the, both videos down below of hers and the next one. But she is um Finnish, I think. That's why she gets thin stitcher. Um, and bless her heart, she she does struggle a little bit. She's um she says in her video that she's tried to record the video several times um, over the past I think month and she just gets very uh, frustrated with her her English um, like she'll be trying to think of a word um, and she can't think of it and she just gets very frustrated with herself and you know her her knowledge of English um, but I think she did a pretty good job um, I can understand her pretty well so um, check her out and the next one is if you first look at the name written out you think it's like it looks like a weird name but once you break it down into what it actually is it's the it's uh, her name is Ginger Ninja Stitcher um, yes yeah, she is red hair not bright red hair but it's kind of a strawberry colored um, Ginger Ninja and she's a lovely English lady I think she's English English or Australian I'm sorry I'm really sorry I don't remember go watch the rest of my videos you see that I got a problem with memory um, but yeah check her out as well um, she's pretty cute to watch she's funny she's lovely so that's all I have for this week super super short um I did want to say that hoop that I bought last week the one that has like the ridge in the middle of it yes it does hold the fabric in place a little bit better but it is a little bit more difficult to get the fabric super tight I like the fabric so tight you can play the drum on it, um, but it is very difficult to get it that tight because with that that ridge, it makes it harder to pull the fabric through down through the hoop. So I don't know if I'm going to be using that much. I'll have it either way. So um, that's going to be it for today. So super short. I'm always awkward like I hate these endings um but yeah just look for me next Sunday I'll be here and I wanted to do I had wanted to do a hangout today and I apologize to all the people that the lovely people that was wanting to join me for the hangout I just I got I got offered an opportunity to take a little trip out of town um, and I took it so but we'll try again next week I'm gonna do some playing around with the stuff and see what I can come up with so, oh yeah that's all for me today hope you guys have a blessed week have a great stitchy week and I'll see you guys later bye